Okay, so I wanted to put together a brief video showing you the correct way to make a multi-column text box in Adobe Illustrator. So you can see here I just made some lorem ipsum text for a headline and again filled a text box within an area with some lorem ipsum text as well. What I want to do though is I want to show you the proper way to make multiple columns. Some people will use the threaded text feature and threaded text is fine for some things. However, doing a multi-column text box is best left to the area type options. I know this is confusing because there's an area type tool that behaves very differently. So what I want to point out is how to do this. With the text box selected underneath the type menu, I'm going to go down to area type options. And in the area type options, it's going to give me some information about my selected item, the width and the height. I currently left it in points, so that's the measure it's using. How many rows and how many columns there are, and any additional spacing. And if there were multiple rows and columns, how we want it to flow. So this is saying if we had multiple rows and columns, it would flow by row first and then column. The choice is also then for many non-Western languages as well, to do columns first and then rows. And then there's an auto size and a preview button so I can click to see what it looks like and we'll do that in just a moment. So what I want to do here, the, the most typical thing for English language is to have multiple columns. I'm going to come over to where it says columns and I'm going to first make two columns. Now I don't really see anything happen because I did not click on the preview button, so I'm going to click on it now. And it's going to show me what the two columns of text are going to look like. What it did is it broke up that large block of text and it refloated it into two columns. And you can see here there's a little bit of overset text, so I'm going to need to probably expand this box. The reason being is the text fit comfortably inside this box when it was just one big column. But now that I've put in this margin here, okay, this gutter, so to speak, the space between the columns, we had to take a little bit of text space in order to do that. So if I click off of it, you know, you, you, these would go away. We're still inside the dialog box. Um, and I can adjust then this gutter, okay, the space, this margin between the columns. So right now, the gutter is set to 18 points. I'm going to raise that a bit more, just to have a slightly larger gutter there, to 22 points. And you can see it continues to get wider and further apart. And if I'm okay with that at this point, I can go ahead and click OK. Now, to point out to you, if I click off of this, this is what it's going to look like. And I can see that there's some overset text here. So I could use the text threading feature and link this to another text box. Or if I wanted to go, for instance, from, from two columns to one column, I could create a text box here and then link those together. Uh, if I needed to change something up in that way. But if I'm happy with the two columns, and I am, what I'm going to do is simply uh, just click on the box here and make it a little bit larger until I see this overset text go away. And I can see it's gone now. Uh, the text fits comfortably inside there. That is the most uh, direct way to make a two-column text box in Adobe Illustrator.